Okay, so here we're going to make a Tinkercad bookmark. And the first thing you want to do is hit Create New Design. If you're going to jump ahead with the link that I provided, then you can skip ahead um, to after the section to around, I think it's the 3 minute 30 second mark. So here I'm just taking a box over. I'm going to squish it down to about 2 millimeters in height because we want our bookmark to be thin so it fits inside the book. Overall, the length of our bookmark is going to be 150 millimeters. In the lower right, you can find a way to change from inches to millimeters. Um, I use the metric system since that's what we use in science. Um, stick with that. If inches are more familiar, you can change it to inches. Uh, however, 150 millimeters is about the right length for it. And again, you don't want to go over 2 millimeters or it's too thick to fit in the book. So you can click on the white corners to change the dimensions. And this is the screen that pops up if you're using the Tinkercad app. So the cube that I made is 115 millimeters tall because we're going to put a little icon on the top of it. And once we put that icon on the top of it, you're going to see that there will be, um, it'll be about 150 total. So we don't want to make it too tall here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in three holes uh, as boxes on the sides and on the bottom so that it can kind of clip in on a page. So it's not just sitting there, but it clips in on the page and it really stays in there. So I'm bringing over a box as a hole. I'm going to make sure that this hole goes all the way through. So I'm going to change it to, uh, I think it's 107 millimeters I use here. Um, and then I want it really thin, so just 1.5 millimeters in width. And then I'm going to use that along the right and along the left, and then a smaller one along the bottom so it acts like a clip, kind of like a paper clip would go onto your page. And so now you click on each object, and in the upper right there's an Align tool. And the Align will set, out, set it up perfectly for you. So then I tap on the cube because I want to keep that in place. And those black dots are telling you, or allowing me to center it or put it on the right or the left. So it gets pretty close with the Align tool, but then I have to take that hole and move it a little bit more to the left, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, and then I can hit the Duplicate button, which is on the upper left. I think D might be the shortcut on the laptop, um, but you have to use the button if you are on the app. And I'm going to make another one of those on the left-hand side, right there. And then I'm going to make another copy, but then spin it around 90 degrees and make it much smaller so it goes along the bottom and connects the two of those at the bottom. I also use that view cube on the upper left to spin around. Oftentimes in Tinkercad it looks like something's in the right place, but it's actually not. So using the view cube lets you know, oh, did I really get it in the right place? So here I'm just changing the dimensions of that small one that's going to connect on the bottom. And then those arrows that go right and left are allowing me to rotate along either axis, the X, the Y, or the Z. So you can manually do it like I just did there by dragging it around or type in the number 90 degrees. Now I'm looking to make sure that they lined up uh, and it connects those two holes. And then I'm going to look through the bottom. These holes I want to go all the way through. Whereas the holes for your name and an icon you put on it, you're not going to want it to go all the way through. That way we can get this like two-tone look that you'll see at the end when we get to that point of the video. So at this point, this is where the link that I provided, um, so you can just skip ahead and have this done for you. So that part's done, and then you can just add your icon. So here um, I'm making it for Malcolm, my son, and he likes biking, so I found a gear that I'm gonna put in there. And then I'm gonna make that again about two millimeters for the top. Um, I like the gear, but I also wanted to give it a little more flair. So then what I do is I go ahead and I add a tire into the to the gear to cut a hole in the gear. So you can hit the icon on the left, that arrow, and then I turn it into a hole. And then I center it in the gear. Uh, so here I'm just changing around with the dimensions, getting it about the right size, um, and then aligning it again with the align tool. And the align tool does a pretty good job, but my, uh, my tire itself was a little off. So now this one I'm gonna wanna lower down through, which I do there, and then I tap on both and I hit group and that cuts a hole in it. So it's a cool look. But now I have that circle in the middle that's gonna fall out. So I'm just taking a cube, making it a really small, a two millimeter thick connector so that that middle circle doesn't fall out, but it still gives the, the look of the gear with the hole in it, which looks even more like a bike to me. So um, a lot of icons you can choose from. You can choose whatever you want. Just make sure you have overlap between the two shapes before you group them. If there's not overlap, then the two things will print separately and it won't remain together as a bookmark. Um, so here now I am referencing a favorite book. So Malcolm loves Harry Potter. So we're throwing in that lightning bolt from Harry Potter and I'm using the scribble to draw it. 
And so I can draw my icon and then I just turned it into a hole by clicking on the hole part under where it says shapes. And I lined it up, but the align tool makes it look a little weird with the way the lightning bolt goes. So now I'm just manually putting it in place. Uh, now I'm adding Malcolm's name. And then I'm going to turn that around 90 degrees so that it goes on the bookmark. And again, with the lightning bolt and the name, I'm not going to have those holes go all the way through. Because what I want them to do is go through, but not all the way. And then I can print in one color filament on the bottom and then replace the filament and you'll get a two-tone look. So you'll see like the lettering will look to be a different color than the rest of the bookmark. So now I'm just checking with the view cube that it doesn't go all the way through, but that it makes a hole in the top, but not the bottom. Then I group and I can see that it didn't go all the way through. And I'm going to export as an STL. I believe Miss Chacha will help you with that. And then here's the final look of the bookmark. He's a Giants fan, so I went with orange and black. And there's two versions of it.